Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. This video is part of my Infinite Game Score series, and today we're going to be talking about Kingdom Hearts. I'll begin this review by stating this is the first time I've played Kingdom Hearts. This series has loomed far too long in the backlog of my game collection. So, I figured I'd start off with Kingdom Hearts 1.5 Final Mix, hoping it was the best representation of the game. Now I know a lot of you are hardcore fans with strong opinions of the game and the entire series. I'm not here to change your opinion or prove anyone right or wrong. I'm here to add my opinion to the conversation. Kingdom Hearts is a great story with, a memorable, with, with memorable characters, a strangely haunting musical theme, and a great joint effort between Squaresoft and Disney. I won't call my experience flawless, but I did enjoy the game a lot once I started to keep the perspective that this was originally a PlayStation 2 title and how the game theory was different back then. The art style of Kingdom Hearts is unique and its beauty cannot be denied. The story of the first Kingdom Hearts seems simple on the surface but hints at something much deeper. I won't go into detail here because I consider spoils to be an ultimate sin when, clair when crafting a game review. As I said before, the music is haunting and somehow draws you into the emotional state of Sora, the main character. The combat in Kingdom Hearts is of the live action uh, variety and leans more towards defensive style of play. Uh, favoring dodging, blocking, parrying, uh, over attacking. Aggressive players may find this game difficult unless they master def defense or equip healing items and spells. Nothing to it. I really enjoyed my time in Kingdom Hearts and it compelled me to go further into the series, but we will review those games at a later date. Now, let's get to the unlimited game score. The great god of the underworld is afraid of a kid? So, the game exists, and that means that it starts with a score of three. Uh, it is available now, physically and digitally, so it scores a point. Immersion, uh, I felt pretty immersed. Um, it wasn't like, make the world fade away, but yeah, it was good. Uh, two points. Let's see. Gimmick. Well, it had a gimmick. It was basically Disney characters and Squaresoft characters, so three points. Uh, I think they really did blend these worlds very well, and um, they they kind of played off of each other, uh, like opposing tastes in food, like sweet and sour or uh, sweet and salty. Voice actors in English gains a point. Game length gains two points. Story gains three points. Uh, this actually went past my normal expectations, so that's why it got three points. Level design, two points. Complete experience, three points. This was definitely a complete experience. I was very happy with uh, the game by the time it was over. Sense of progression. Uh, you can manipulate this, but it seemed kind of slow, so one point. Fairness slash punishing RNG, uh, two points. Uh, I felt that there were some things that were a little bit messy in that area. Um, technical difficulties. I stutter walked constantly, and unfortunately, that's a failing of the controller. But honestly, other games have overcome this by... Uh, changing some of the coding and stuff. Um, I'm not going to dock it for a point for this, but, you know, it's it's there. Game value to MSRP cost. Uh, that's about right, so two points. Um, choice and consequences. Uh, there are equipment, skills, items, magic, 
uh, party. So yeah, it gets two points here. Um, soundtrack. Unfortunately, the soundtrack gets a little bit old fast. Um, so only one point. Visuals, two points. Difficulty, two points. Uh, game pay, gameplay slash combat. Uh, it felt kind of messy. So only one point. Controls. Guys, X should be jump and you can't remap in this game. Uh, this is not 1980. You should be able to remap button presses in a game. So it loses a point. Camera. Uh, the auto and manual cameras are atrocious. Uh, it, it's really bad and almost makes the game unplayable. So it loses two points. Unlockables and rewards, one point. Sense of accomplishment, one point. Um, now, I, I realize that I've probably said some things that ruffled some feathers, but you know what? It is a good game. I'm very happy that I played it. So that totals this title out to 32 points. Uh, that's not the best thing in the world. Um, you know, there are games out there that have scored over 50 points on my scale. Uh, so, you know, for, for a upgraded PlayStation 2 title to a PlayStation 4, uh, this is really good. This is a good score. Um, I would highly suggest anyone who is curious to even just go out and give the game a try. I'm pretty sure you can find it for fairly cheap now. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.